everybody, welcome back for another video. You can see here today we have an unboxing. I'm going to pull the stuff out because I forgot to cover the top of the envelope with some washi tape. So you can see I got a little order and it is from Jet Pens. So you can definitely see that this is a month where I will be spending. And here, let's see what the, the comic strip is. I'm trying to fold the paper so you won't see my address. <laughs> it says, finally, I've done it. I've created the perfect pencil rotating lead an ergonomic grip, sliding lead sleeve precision tip. My life's work is finally complete. Snap. It's supposed to do that, right? <laughs> That's kind of cute. Uh, okay, so it's a very tiny little order from Jet Pens. Um, I added this on uh, because I wanted one and um, in order to get the free shipping. So, you know, it's, it's a, you know, 35 to 40 dollar order, nothing too outrageous. Um, let's see what. It is one of their pen tins. Um, let me. Sorry for the plastic noise, for those of you that don't like the sound of plastic noise. Uh, it is just one of their standard pen tins. And um, I actually might not use it for pens. I might use it for watercolors. So that was why I got it, because I thought it was a great little size. And I might be able to combine two of my favorite sets of 24 paints into this. Well, two of my favorite 12 sets into 24 and put them in here. So that's why I got that. Um, let me get my a pen case. So let's do this first. I needed a replacement. This is a Prismacolor in the color, it's really hard to see. It's called Pale Sage and it's a Prismacolor. I've pulled out all of my, I don't have many Prismacolor. These are my Scholar pencils. I do have a set of Prismacolors, but those didn't have this color. There was a color very similar in the Scholar colors, but I had used it all up, so I bought this to replace it. And um, these are, are the Scholar pencils, and I, I keep them out in this so I can quickly grab a pencil, use it, and if something happens to it, I'm not, you know, too upset. So I, I ordered a Prismacolor to replace one from in there. I bought a new Bolograph pen. It's a ballpoint pen in, um, it comes with a blue ink. Uh, and I, I do have another Bolograph that I use. It's in like a burgundy color, but the one that I have had for a long time is in this green color. I've had it for about two or three years, probably. Maybe I got it in 2019. Um, and it's still the original ink that's in it. So they last a long time. Um, and then I've got some ink here. Uh, so this and this are refills for the Bolographs, except they're in black. I got them in black in case I want to do any drawing or sketching. The blue, you know, doesn't work very well for that because this type of ink in a ballpoint pen is um, like water resistant. Like you could, you know, use it to do sketching and it's waterproof. Bet you didn't know that. Then I have here some Lamy ink refills. And then this is a converter for a Lamy because 
the very first fountain pen I bought, or like the very first nice fountain pen I bought, was this one. It is a 2016 All-Star limited edition in the orange copper color, or copper orange color. And it had a, um, when I got it, it had an ink that was um, the same color as the this, but I, I ran out of that because I had just a few cartridges of it and I didn't buy a bottle of it, so. So there's that, but I didn't have a, um, oh, unscrew it. I've been using these refills. This one has, um, uh, this has a Monteverdi ink in it and it is a, a chocolate pudding or a, it's, it's a dark brown, but I wanted to get a, um, oh, whatever these are called, a, um, one of these for it. It's it's a Lammy. <laughs> so a converter, that's what it's called. So I can put my own ink in the pen. So, but I do sometimes use cartridge ink. Like I've got some more of that Monteverde, but I also have here, I wanted to buy some of their black. And this is a blue black. There we go. I wanted to get some of these just, you know, when, when you're on the go, I've got, I've got a couple, I've got one more box of this, but um, you know, when you're on the go, it's, it's kind of nice to have this because if you run out of ink, this doesn't feel that much. And you know, who carries around, you know, a bottle of ink in your, all of the, the tools that you need. I don't at least, maybe there are people that do, but when I'm carrying with me in my bag a flute and all of that type of stuff, it, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just <clears throat> a lot. So that was my purchase. It was the converter, the replacement ink in the blue, black, and in the black, a pen, two um, black ink refills for the Bolograph, and a Prismacolor pencil and this, the pen case, pencil case or whatever. And you know, it could even be a, you know, storing your ink, you know, keep it all in one place. Um, and here, just so you can see the, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me pull out my sketchbook in here. So we can see the pretty color of this pale sage. Um, so this is my sketchbook. I don't, I, I might have shown this on YouTube. I can't remember. Um, but I've been, I started it a long time ago and then kind of put it away and then pulled it back out when I did this little puppy. <laughs> Um, and so most of the stuff in here is from March of 2022. This was in June. It was my first time sketching out a lemon tree, doing some swatches. That was June 6th, June 7th, June 12th. Some little, trying to create a color palette, trying to create a color palette. See, this color is gonna look really nice in here. See, pale green, or pale sage. <clears throat> and so I've got lots of swatches and I did some samples. I know this has been seen on my Patreon quite a bit. Dragonfly. Some more swatches, more, and it's not a um, watercolor paper. You can hear it's a quite a thin paper, but um, you know, it's for just plain. It's not bad. Seamus just came in for a walk, so he's a little antsy. These are um. 
sparkly watercolors. Pencil tests. Just a couple more lemon trees. Some flowers. And it's becoming fall, so I'm starting to draw. And I love these pumpkin mugs. I was trying to draw a, a mug as a pumpkin, and then I got my glitter paints out from Artisa. But here, let's go towards the back. So here's that pretty color, pale sage, just to compare it with um, like this color right here. This is a Prisma color that is olive green. <laughs> See the difference? Pale sage, olive green. It says, vert olive. Ow! That was really sharp when I put it back. I touched the tip. So there's that. And just to show you what the um, bolograph ballpoint looks like, it's just a typical ballpoint in blue. And then this is basically the same thing, just in black. Black, blue. Oh, and because someone will want to see, this pen is the the Lamy All Star 2016 Copper Orange, and it has that's right there actually, Lamy, and it has a Monteverdi. It's um chocolate. Pudding is the color. And this is a fine nib. Um, I tend to prefer the fine to, and medium nibs. So, yeah. So there we are, just a very quick little unboxing of a little order that I placed through Jet Pens. I will link Jet Pens down below. Um, of course, they always have, uh, you know, so many wonderful things. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.